iPhone. So just a second before we proceed with the video, I want to show you guys something. So as you can see here, this is my live account, right? So live account. Country not funded, only with 50 cents in there. Uh, it's not funded right now. As you can see, it's a live account, right? It's a live account, as you can see. So I just want to share with you, I haven't traded today, which is the purpose of why I'm making this video. I have not traded yet today, you understand? But uh, we did trade on Monday from, from this account. As you can see, the account had about 4K, right? The account had 4K. Uh, we traded a bit. I don't remember when this was, Joe, but the account had 4K. Traded made uh, 1K, 1.5. We drew 5k then, 1.5 1, 1. or something, you know what I'm saying? So, funded a game with 4k, and then we made 6k profit, and then we drew 10k total, you know what I'm saying? So, overall, in the space of a week, profit that has been made from this account, just from 0 0.02 lot size is uh, 7,500, and the total withdrawal sums up to now 15k. All right, so let's proceed with the this video. This video is sponsored by The Marketplace, powered by Trader Central. So recently launched, The Marketplace is a town square for traders to make a living out of the ecosystem. Currently, Havana is accessible, a digital playground where you play to earn tokens, which can be used for discounts on your funding plan or purchase packs to fast track your challenge. Go to the link in the description box below and access The Marketplace. Yo, 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 what's up, fam? It's your boy Fussy Max. Welcome back to Fussy Max channel. You already know the vibes. We only talk about Forex here in the building. So, yeah, man, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss on any future drops. Go follow me on all my social media platforms if I'm going to try to put out content across all of these, uh, you know what I'm saying, all of these platforms and stuff like that. You feel me? So, yeah, today I want us to go and analyze NAS 100 and US 500. I want to see if we can find some direction there or some clarity there although i have not opened uh, yet any trades but i think if we can look through these two charts we can find the setup because one thing i need you to guys one thing i need you guys to know also is that us 500 and nas 100 now have a lot of correlation so you might find if you want to trade nas 100 it's not going to be all the time where you're going to find a setup on nas 100 you might find the bounce on us 500 and open the trade on NAS 100, you understand? SPX 500 is US 500. In other words, so like I'm saying, sometimes when the structure on NAS 100 is not very clear, go and do uh, structure research, which is analyzing. Go do analyzing on the SPX 500 or US 500. And then I'm sure that side you'll definitely find the structure if you can't find it on the NAS 100. So uh, let's go. Let's go check it out in the building. Okay. So we're gonna put this trend line there. We're on the H4 time frame, right? We wanna see where potentially the price can bounce. As you can see, it did bounce there. Um, let's try to find another one at the bottom. Okay, so this doesn't. This one doesn't work. Mm, maybe if we can use this one. yeah so as you can see now when you join this point there and this is the h4 i'm gonna send all of these uh, on the thing on the public telegram and the discord even though i haven't dropped there i know but you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna i'm gonna send this this analysis there in the building so we have this point where it made contact and we also have another point here so the overall thing we're trying to achieve with this analysis we're trying to see if we can end up with a decision a conclusive decision as to whether or not if we should buy right so i'm gonna go to the h1 so in the h1 time frame we also have this trend line now that is in within that that is within the overall uh, descending channel you understand so we have this structure there that's, that is uh below the overall thing structure so we have another trend line here, which we can use in the smaller time frame, which is why we're using the H1 to begin with. So there's a level there, but the level is it's 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 too far from where the price is at now.
You understand? The level is too far from where the price is at. And there's another level that I'm seeing here. So one, two, three, and then four here with the trend line. So I think the way the structure of this thing is set up, I think it's still gonna push up. I think it's still gonna push up to this zone here. You understand? So there is this level also. You understand? So these are the these are the levels that we're seeing on the H1. You understand? We have one, two, three, and of this trend line. So right now, let's look at the current level that we had. There's one, two, we made contact here, one, two, three, four, and five. We broke out and then we came back to retest now. So even if the price can think, if we can I think we can think we can look to buy this thing, right? In the premise that now it looks like a retest, but we're gonna have to close the trade here. You understand? So we can expect a rally here from there to there, and then we can think. I don't think we even have to analyze the thing because it's giving me a nice structure without even having to analyze the US 500. You understand? So if for some of y'all that that like doing uh these things these are uh, patterns and stuff because they still are they still apply flag like patterns and, and stuff like that if you wanna trade this thing let's see if we can have a flag you understand so for some of you that need like double double confirmation and stuff like that you can have your uh set up there a buy a buy stop you can put a buy stop there and then you need to put your sl below the level because the price can still go up and retrace so it's always better to put the sl just slightly below the level you understand and then put your tp slightly below that level you understand so somewhat like this but it's looking a lot one-to-one -one. it's looking a lot one-to-one -one right now so probably would have to enter a little bit sooner to try and limit the thing to try and limit that risk to reward ratio you understand what i'm saying so this is on the m30 so i'm gonna send all the charts to thing to the to the to the to the public platforms find us on 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 uh discord and find us on telegram i'm gonna send all of these day so let me put a message at the end of this setup that i just overall overall uh thing we just discovered together on this thing listen i'm not giving you strategies to scalp you understand meaning my strategies are, i'm not giving you guys so you can go and scale in full margin wise and open your barcodes and stuff i'm showing you guys how to grow your accounts in a way that's uh how to, how, how do i say it in a way that's more stable you understand because this thing of going full margin and doing barcodes and stuff I mean, I like it when I'm being, you know, when I want to trade aggressively, but I wouldn't advise it to someone who's still new to the game and wants to, like, cons make consistent growth. Because when you blow, you really blow with full margin. And then when you make money, you really make money. So, like, there's no in-between. With this strategy, like, you apply your risk management, you understand? Apply your risk management. Even if you open a 0 0.1, 0 0.01, you understand? It's always going to work. And I'm going to show you my results also where i funded a 4000 account and i made about 6k i think it was monday or something like that so all i'm trying to show you by this is that it doesn't it does not require you to open like a lot of trades to make money just making enough money every day makes all the difference in the world you understand so this channel from now on is going to be uh based on growth consistent growth right and i want you guys to think whoever's watching this and you're not subscribing and you're not following the boy it's fine but over the course of the next uh six months you're gonna see a lot of growth in myself included you know myself so i want you to 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 be a part of it and my videos are gonna become drastically more uh in depth in terms of tra trading strategies and stuff like that so if you want to grow with me from this moment onwards so then for the next six months three months let's start now but if you want to just you know do your thing and experiment with stuff I commend you for doing that, you feel me? So yeah, it's a boy for I'm going to see you guys very soon on the next one. Peace out.